Hello, I'm Jack from America Defense Manufacturing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mount a scope using one of our recon mounts. To get started, what tools do you need? First, you need a nice stable workbench or a nice solid gun vise to hold the firearm in place as you mount the scope. Second, you'll need a 964 Allen key uh, or screwdriver. Um, third, you'll need a torque limiter in inch pounds. And fourth, you'll need a scope leveling method of choice, whether that be uh, like an Arasaka, kind of a wedge uh, leveling tool. Um, one of my favorites is the scope setter right here, um, or you can use like a plumb bob. After you assemble your tools, you can start to mount the scope. Uh, so first, start by disassembling the entire scope mount. Uh, this area is very crucial to kind of keep organized uh, with the recon scope mount. There is a lot of kind of parts to it, like the different ring hands and everything. Just make sure to lay them out as you disassemble it so you're not losing any parts and uh, makes the assembly process a lot smoother. Next, you can go ahead and loosely assemble your scope into your scope mount. Uh, start by um, putting in the two rings with the indexing pin, laying your scope on top of that, and then putting the two other rings on top of there, uh, and then only installing the bottom screws loosely. Uh, when you're installing the bottom screws, make sure you're going slow uh, and evenly uh, as to align the uh, rings to the scope. Um, take your time with it. That's the main thing with this process, is taking your time to evenly uh, distribute that force across the scope tube body. Um, you don't wanna be binding anything. So uh, just tighten the bottom screws at this point. After you got that kind of loosely assembled, you can go ahead and torque the bottom screws to 20 to 25 inch pounds of torque. Uh, main thing to note here is that, again, go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, but more importantly, you should still have a gap in the top of the rings. Uh, this is because the 20 to 25 inch pounds you're torquing on the bottom screws does not actually hold the uh, scope in place. You'll still be able to set your eye relief and level the scope. Uh, so go ahead and torque those bottom screws and we can move on to the next step. After you have the bottom screws torqued down, uh, you can start by setting your eye relief and start to level the scope. Uh, for setting eye relief, it is a lot of trial and error. It depends on your body size, stature, uh, gun type, and host firearm, and shooting preferences. So uh, just kind of try a few things out. Personally, I like to just kind of get a rough, even spacing um, and go from there. And if I need to change it, I can change it down the road. Um, but yeah, to start leveling your scope, uh, just choose your leveling method of choice. Uh, my favorite, like I said, is the scope setter. It's just turnkey. Uh, you can just do it on the table. But if you're uh, doing it with the gun, get it all set up nice and level and rock solid. Um, like the bottom screws, um, just go ahead and loosely put the screws in place until you can start to feel resistance. Uh, once you start to feel resistance, that's when you want to start to level uh, your scope into the final resting place. Um, so get that dialed in. Uh, one thing to note with scopes is that you might have to remove the elevation cap or turret to get down to the true uh, uh, dial here. This will give you the best indication of true level. Um, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and start tightening down the screws. Again, very important to take your time, uh, evenly uh, distribute the force across the screws. You don't want to set uh, the torque to one screw right away. Just kind of work your way incrementally, like quarter turns to a half turns each screw um, until you get to enough torque that you can break it with the uh, torque wrench. Um, so once you kind of get that in place and level, um, take your torque wrench. Uh, we use uh, the Wheeler Fat Wrench. It's kind of like the standard setup. There's a ton of different manufacturers that make them now uh, from Wheeler, Vortex, Fix It Sticks. Uh, but set it to uh, 18 inch pounds or your scope manufacturer's uh, recommendations. Um, and again, uh, tighten that down evenly um, in an X pattern uh, so you uh, distribute the force evenly across the scope tube body because it is a tube and you can bend it and you don't want to do that. So go ahead and do that. And after you got that torque down, uh, you're done. So kind of a recap on the recon scope mount mounting instructions is that you want to torque the bottom screws to 20 to 25 inch pounds first, then uh, level your scope, and then set your final torque to the top rings to your scope manufacturer's uh, recommendations. So in the case of Vortex, it's usually 18 inch pounds, and that's a good industry standard to start with unless uh, your scope manufacturer specifies otherwise. Um, so yeah. I hope that helps uh, you mount your recon scope mount. I know it's not the most intuitive mount in the world, but um, also I forgot one thing. 
At the end of uh, mounting the scope, you should always have that gap in the front here. It should never be closed. This is kind of an indication that you mounted it correctly um, and you're not having any issues. So, yeah. That was the final word. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Our website is admmfg.com and our customer service and technical inquiries is tech at admmfg.com and sales at admmfg.com. Also, uh, take a look at our other social medias. Um, if you're kind of into uh, the social media type thing, uh, we like to post cool stuff. Um, and um, if you're using ADM gear, we want to see it. So share it, tag us in it. Um, and let us know how you feel if you have any suggestions or comments or um yeah so looking forward to seeing you guys out there and keep shooting have a good one